The long-awaited Asus PG42UQ OLED monitor is now finally available for purchase, but before you jam your fist into your pants and start smashing the buy button, you might want to watch this video. Now, for a long time, people have been waiting for a proper 4K OLED high refresh rate monitor so they can stop using TVs on their desks, which many high-end gamers have felt forced into using since the PC monitor market is so goddamn awful, filled with nothing but overpriced ancient LCD technology that doesn't belong anywhere over the $300 price point in his outright highway robbery. And at a glance, the PG42UQ seems to be the perfect solution as not only is it using OLED technology, but it's at a semi-reasonable size of 42 inches, which is the size I'm reaching after viewing these specs. And it has a refresh rate of 138 hertz, which is a significant increase over displays like the LG C2, which are stuck at 120 hertz. And while 100 120 hertz is good, it's not ideal for competitive gaming and can leave you at a significant disadvantage to those Adderall snorting, G Fuel butt chugging Twitch streamers playing on their 360 hertz monitors and slamming their eyeballs directly into the screen. Not only that, but the OSD on the PG42UQ has been built for gamers first and should be a smoother experience when using with a PC. And most importantly, it should be more color accurate out of the box, meaning that you should be able to do some decent and editing and professional work without having to fully color calibrate the display like you do on the LG C2. And it should have a mode which allows the whole screen to stay the same brightness even when opening large white backgrounds like an image of your pasty skin thanks to the integrated heatsink on the panel whereas on current LG OLED TVs there's no way to reduce the very aggressive ABL. So all in all it sounds like a great monitor but I have a few major issues with it. First, let's talk about the price and availability. Now, these aren't horrible, but it has to be noted that the PG42UQ does come in at a more expensive $1,400 versus the $1,150 on the LG C2. And also, if you order it on Amazon today, you won't be receiving it for over a month. And personally, I think pre-ordering is for suckers. So unless you need this monitor, I think it's best to wait for cheaper prices and better availability. But now let's talk about the real issue. The PG42 UQ is being proudly displayed with a matte finish, and I couldn't be any more disgusted. Now, for some people this will be a positive because they game on the surface of the sun but for me and many others this is a non-starter feature and current LG OLED users will absolutely hate this display as despite it being the same resolution it's going to look like absolute garbage in comparison thanks to the matte finish ruining the color and clarity of the display. Now the reason why me and many other OLED users much prefer a glossy finish is because it has a far superior image quality and when you're spending over a thousand dollars on a monitor that detail is very important. In fact the only way I can describe how bad a matte finish looks is this. Imagine someone took a beautiful display and then they took 200 grit sandpaper to it and finished off by smearing Vaseline all over the top. I'm not even exaggerating. When light is diffused all over the display thanks to the matte finish, it looks really awful. And this is why a matte finish should never be used on high resolution expensive displays and should be relegated to cheap or office monitors where there's too much light that would cause distracting reflections. So overall, the PG42UQ looks like it could be a fantastic display, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, the image will likely be completely ruined by the matte finish unless this is some type of new finish we've never seen before and that combined with the very high prices why ultimately I can't recommend this display and for the love of God can we stop putting matte finishes on high-end monitors Christ what a shame so there you have it hopefully this helped you out with your purchasing decision but hey do you think I'm wrong let me know your thoughts in the comments below and also I want to give a big shout out to RuPro for sponsoring this video are you tired of slow tiny cables? Well, no longer, because this baby can deliver perfect quality 4K 120Hz HDR content up to an incredible 33 feet thanks to its mind-blowing 48 gigabits per second bandwidth, which is perfect for the new RTX 30 series cards if you're looking to run a new 4K high refresh rate HDR monitor or a new LG OLED 120Hz 4K TV with your PS5 or Xbox Series X. And best of all, it's backed by a 5-year warranty. So if you want to get a high-speed, high-quality cable be sure to click the link in the description below to find out more.